Good morning everyone. In today's cadaveric study, we will study the brachial plexus, cords and its branches. Uh, by pulling the axillary artery medially, I can show you the three cords of the brachial plexus and uh, the three cords are as such. The one I am holding in the forceps is the uh, lateral cord of the brachial plexus and in the floor that you can see the posterior cord as well as the medial cord of the brachial plexus. By thread, I am pulling the axillary artery towards the medial side. By see, uh, now to identify the branches from the lateral cord, you can see the lateral cord has three branches. The first branch, this one is the lateral pectoral nerve arising from the lateral cord and supplying the pectoralis major muscle over here. You can see this pectoralis major muscle is being supplied by this lateral pectoral nerve. Then the second branch we have is the musculocutaneous nerve. This is the musculocutaneous nerve supplying the coracobrachialis and other muscles of the arm front of the arm. This is the lateral root of the median nerve. You can see the median nerve arises by two roots. This is the lateral root of the median nerve and this is the medial root of the median nerve. By tracing the medial root on the uh, superior aspect, we can see proximally if you trace the this medial root of the median nerve, you can find the medial cord of the uh, medial cord of the brachial plexus and its branches. This is the medial cord of the this is the medial cord of the brachial plexus. This one is the medial cord of the brachial plexus and its different branches. One of the branches is the medial pectoral nerve. This is the medial pectoral nerve and you can see this medial pectoral nerve arising from the medial cord and then entering into the pectoralis minor to supply it. By, after piercing the pectoralis minor, it comes on, on the superior aspect, superficial surface and supplies the uh, pectoralis major also. Another branch of the medial cord is this one. This is the ulnar nerve arising from it and we can identify it by seeing, uh, tracing it downwards that it goes behind the medial aspect of medial aspect of the medial condyle of the humerus. Another branch from it is this thick nerve called as this uh, medial cutaneous nerve of the forearm. A thinner nerve here is the medial cutaneous nerve of the arm. This is medial cutaneous nerve of the arm and you can see Another nerve, this is intercostobrachial nerve arising from the second intercostal space and it merges with the medial cutaneous nerve of the arm and supplies the skin over the medial aspect of the arm. These were the branches from the medial cord of the brachial plexus. For seeing the uh, posterior cord and its branches, we have to pull all other structures, all neural structures towards the medial side and here we can see the radial nerve, the thick radial nerve arising from the posterior cord of the brachial plexus and then entering into the spiral groove of the humerus and going towards the posterior aspect of the arm. Another nerve is this axillary nerve, another branch from the posterior cord and entering into the quadrangular space with this posterior circumflex humeral artery and goes inside the quadrangular space around the surgical, on the posterior aspect of the surgical neck of the humerus. To see another branch from the uh, posterior cord, we can trace here and see here, this is the thoracodorsal nerve. This is thoracodorsal nerve arising from the posterior cord, arising from the posterior cord and supplying the latissimus dorsi muscle over here. This is the latissimus dorsi muscle and supplying supplied by this thoracodorsal nerve. The upper subscapular and lower subscapular nerve I am unable to show you in this view. Mm -hmm.